we have uh, we have a few steps until we finish configuring the new sensor but writing all of our code within the main function is not a good idea because at some point it would be a mess that's why i'm going to create a new source file then we have another header file So instead of writing everything within the main function, it will, it will be better to create a function. So we go to main.c and we can just uh, copy this part of the code. paste it here next we have the address values we have the registers and the data values but using these numbers are not the best uh, strategy when programming the microcontrollers it's better to define some macros so instead of these numbers we will use that uh, defined macros so in order to not to waste time I will just uh, paste uh, macros that I defined it before. So instead of that uh, numbers, the constant numbers, we will use these user friendly names. So we have the device address. So instead of this, we can use device address. So this is written as a hex number, but of course you can write it as a binary number as shown in the data sheet. Then instead of this, we have the register to configure the gyroscope. And we want to set this value range. So instead of that, we have this. And also we're using this uh, variable within this uh, file. That's why we just need to go and we need to copy this. And we can paste it here. But instead of that, we have to use extern um, keyword, meaning that this variable is defined in a, another file. Then it's a good idea to use main.h within that so we can use all of these functions easily i guess we are close so next we can next we can include Finally, we can just insert this just a one line to configure accelerometer to configure the INU sensor. So let's check our code. So as you see, we get the following messages. It means that our function, our code is uh, working properly and again we have to include studio.h to eliminate all these warnings we need to continue configuring the IMU sensor next step we have to configure the accelerometer range so we have the uh, following bits that dictates the full scale range of the accelerometer so I just want to set one so we have 4G plus minus 4G full scale range. So I already defined all the mac macros for that. So we have the following register. So we have also these values.
final we have this register so if we set this bit the IMU sensor is in low power sleep mode and by default this bit is set so in order to exit from the sleep mode we have to reset this bit and also I want to enable the temperature sensor uh, we just need to write 0 to enable the temperature sensor which basically means that we have to just write 0 to this bit to this register so we have this register so again we just need to copy this part of the code and I will paste it here Next, we just need to debug to check our code. And as you see, we got the following message that device is ready. We configure gyroscope and the accelerometer and we exited from the sleep mode. Finally, we are ready to read the measurements. Finally, we are ready to read the measurements of the IMU sensor. For that purpose, we have to work with the following with the following function. So again, I'm going to create a new function. So we have this function from PAL API. So again, we have the following variable, we have the following address. And since we are reading, we have to set read write bit to one. And we have the memory address, the other things. So again, we need to work with the data sheet. Uh, we have the following registers that holds accelerometer, temperature, and the gyroscope measurements. So we have register 59, which is the onset of all measurements. As we discussed, using the serial read, we can read uh, several uh, registers that are sequentially located. We just need to provide the address of the first register uh, for that purpose we have already the macros which is the address of the first register of the accelerometer measurements so we have this memory address size is one because every register is a just a one byte Then of course we have to provide the buffer where we're gonna store. So I'll just define buffer with two bytes. So we have this buffer. And also as you uh, know, when we have uh, array, the name of the array itself holds the address, so we don't need to use an ampersand symbol. So we have three axes. So for each axis, we have two uh, bytes. So for x axis, we have the following 59 and 60. For y axis, we have 61 and 62. So right now, I just want to read. Uh, these two registers to get x axis measurements. So I just need two bytes. And as I time out, I will set 100. After reading these two bytes, we have to in encapsulate them to get the correct accelerometer measurements. So as you see, this byte holds upper part of the measurements, this holds the lower part. Therefore, I'm going to create a new uh, 
uh, variable, I call it x acceleration. So this will be equal to So we have to shift the first measurement by 8 bits as we discussed then we have data 1 next I'm going to print So we finished, let's use this within the main, that's here within the while loop. So every one second, we will hit the accelerometer readings. So I will set one second delay. So let's run our code one more time. Have some errors. So if I change orientation, uh, as you see, we have also the corresponding values. So it means that everything is functioning properly.